Part 3 The Lower Limb Bones and Muscles Anatomy In this video lesson, you will discover the bones of the upper and lower leg as well as the main muscles. The lower limbs make up half of the body height, so adequate knowledge of its anatomy is rather important for a figurative artist. Let's begin with the skeletal anatomy. I am using the term lower limb to indicate that we are talking about the upper and the lower leg, from the hip joint to the ankle joint. The femur is the largest bone in the human body. It has the following structure. At the very top, there is a head. This head is part of the ball and socket hip joint. The head of the femur is connected to the bone's shaft via the neck. The lower leg has two bones. The larger one is called the tibia, or the shin bone. This bone is also wider at the knee joint. The two bony projections of the tibia are also called the condyles. The tibial tuberosity is located beneath the kneecap. On the outer side of the tibia, there is the bone called the fibular, or the calf bone. It is time to explain the muscles of the upper and lower leg. In the front portion of the upper leg, there is a muscle called the sartorius. Sartor in Greek means tailor. This is why the muscle is also referred to as the tailor's muscle. The tailor's muscle starts from the frontal upper edge of the pelvis and inserts into the inner top portion of the shin bone. Its main function is to help other muscles to bring the leg into the cross-legged position. The tailor's muscle is long and flat like a belt. It goes diagonally downward and inward around the upper leg. Underneath the calf muscle, there is the soleus muscle, which helps flex the foot downward and stand on the tips of the toes.